is, uh, you guys, we're talking during the commercial break. You see how busy it is here. But then we haven't had anything like this here before, and I don't think anybody out there has probably heard of it. Give us the big overall picture of what this thing does. Well, what this thing does is it allows you to have a couple of people in here, uh, drive it to the airport, the wings swing out, tail goes back, and you take off, uh, fly it to wherever you're going, uh, land it there, and then drive off to your final destination. So in a typical airplane, airplane you don't, you're stuck at the airport. You know, you, yeah. whatever you find there, you're stuck. But here, you can go anywhere. Well, but, yeah, and, this, and, it, and you say it comes as a kit. Yeah, it's a kit. Uh, it's about target price is about seventy or sixty thousand for the kit. You add in engine and uh, instruments, it takes you up around eighty five thousand, which is about a third the price of, oh, yeah. of a typical aircraft. And, and this concept of having a vehicle, <laughs> a, a car, and a plane is not a new concept, but this is maybe the first time we're going to actually see it implemented. It's it's been implemented, but uh, very small in a very small way. It's a very conventional flying machine, uh, much like you'd find any other general aviation airplane. Uh, there really won't be much different. Uh, once it's in the air, the controls will be the same, and uh, uh, it flies very fast as well. And, and what kind of airspeed are we looking at? About 200 miles per hour Gee, with the right engine in it. Really? It could be slower with a smaller engine, so there's an option uh, engine-wise. And then, and then would, you, would somebody typically, theoretically, go through the same flight school that you would go through to, for in, in private aviation? You, you need a private pilot certificate in order to fly it. Same uh, regulation as anybody else in any other type of general aviation airplane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How psyched are you if you're like the 16-year-old kid getting your license and your dad, look what my dad got me to drive. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I'm psyched about it as a flight instructor. I can't wait to get in it and fly it and, and transition people from a general aviation airplane into the switchblade. And what kind of mm -hmm. fuel does this thing run on? Just uh, regular unleaded. You just take it up to the, drive it up to the pump, fill just it up just right like a car. Just go right to the Smart and fill it up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that is just it's phenomenal. And, and I don't see an engine on it. Uh, I don't see a propeller. What, what, how, how does it propel itself? It's a, called a ducted fan. The engine is uh, behind the uh, passengers back in the back, in the middle, and then the propeller sits on the back. The air flows around the vehicle, gets in, uh, the air flows around, gets into the propeller area, and then shoots on backwards. Uh -huh. Sort of, of like course. a jet engine, but it's but it's a right. regular propeller. Right. It, I mean, this this thing, and then and then when you go to park this thing or drive on the road, obviously the wingspan's too wide. Sure. This mm -hmm. the when you when you when it travels on the road, the wings are swing closed. They're protected in clamshell doors underneath, and so when they're on the road, it's uh, pretty compact and actually really aerodynamic. It's a we we did a lot to get it so that on the ground it works just as well or better than it does in the air. It, it, it's more similar to a flying motorcycle than a flying car. Yeah, federal definition of a motorcycle is three wheels or less, and most aircraft use three wheels. So that combination is the best uh, bet if you're trying to do something that does both. Uh -huh. you, you have two people sitting side by side with doors that open much like a car. So on the ground and in its rotable uh, mode, it's, uh, it is just like a car. This seems crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, this seems like this could be, uh, you know, definitely. A, what kind of distance can you travel in this? Like, if we leave Tahoe when the snow's good, in Salt Lake City and go get some powder ski in there? And could you even put your skis inside this thing? Yeah, sure. Uh, the skis fit on the top when you're driving on the ground. And then when you get to the airport and swing the wings out, you actually place your skis underneath so they're protected by the clamshell doors. You can fly that 200 miles an hour and you won't find them flying off the, off the machine in the middle of the air. Um, you can go about 360 miles right now in the air, um, close to 700 miles on the ground. Uh, depends on. And so if you get, you flying along, you get to some bad weather, uh, you just touch down and drive through it. You know, oh, if you fly somewhere fun. and the clouds set in, again, you can just drive home. That's just amazing. And then, mm -hmm. of course, like you said, like you fly to Salt Lake City, you land, and you just drive right off the tarmac onto the roads and over to, to, to the hotel. Right. And, and right. right. Yeah, the beauty is driving out of your garage to the airport, flying to where you want to go, and then <laughs> driving the rest of the way. So it's a, it's a great concept. That is cool. And then, of course, everybody these days asks, and, you know, can this thing go green? Is this thing going to be environmentally sensitive? Yeah, we started off that way. Uh, our first designs were for a hybrid, to be honest. But we backed off. We're going to go ahead with internal combustion engines uh, just to make it the simplest way to get going on it. Uh, what it is is we have engines that are used in here that uh, have emissions controls, just like a car or, or any of the motorcycles or ATVs these days. They all have to have emissions controls. Aircraft do not. So in this case, as an aircraft, we're the first to, to have that. We also use unleaded fuel. Uh, most aircraft use leaded fuel, still right. have some lead in it. Yep. And there's a slight bit of green in terms of going point to point. Well, you yeah. don't have to make turns, climb over hills, 
straight away uh, save time and fuel. Well, and save money. I'm just thinking about mm -hmm. how much it saves people that Clearly. should go to the airport and the security systems mm -hmm. and the, mm -hmm. all, the, all that's going on at the oh, airports yeah. and, and, yeah. and is, is painful as commercial travel is now. Right. This is just no fuss uh, that's right. travel. I love that's it. Right. Right. Uh, where can people get more information about this and, and, and follow its progress? Because I know this is this year you guys are planning to have its first flight, mm -hmm. test pilots taking it out, and, and then on to the next. There, there is a website, www.samsonmotorworks.com, uh, an easy way to find out a, a great deal of information right there. Uh, if you couldn't do that, you could Google it. It's on Google as well. And what do they Google again? Oh, Switchblade or Switchblade and Samson. Mm -hmm. Switchblade mm -hmm. Samson. This is fantastic. Guys, yeah. thanks for coming on the show. And, yeah. uh, Showing us this new innovative device, driving, flying, uh, getting you to wherever the snow is the best way. That it, it's exciting, and anybody can do it. Yeah. You know, so. I get these pilot's license. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. we'll come back mm -hmm. and talk to us as we get a little bit further along in this. Thanks, Don. Excellent. All right. Thanks Great. for coming on the Thank show. You. I think that does it for us here on RSN Style Today. That's it. That's a wrap, as we say in the business. <laughs> we will be back first thing tomorrow morning with more of RSN Style Today at 7 o'clock. Get out there and ski Lake Tahoe.